Ah, you appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? That its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. May the Golden Order shine through you. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Another fool who won't listen to reason, eh? But with a prowess for weeding death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to, and the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? The... I've marked the location for you, of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. Be sure to tell me if you she's a servant. She's been like I've lost count of the number, honestly. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. It's all a bit much for me. I'm still looking. Receive the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then I bid you welcome, as a true member of the Round Table. I am known as Gideon Ofnir, as a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. I am accumulating knowledge, to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell. And Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, Ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? Despite being the blood of Godfrey, First Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds to Limgrave's east, and now Caled has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, 
I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Kaelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rygard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the Two Fingers forbid us from venturing there, until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. Renala is Queen of the Carian Royals, who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The Great Rune dwells within the Amber Egg that was Radagon's gift to her. You again. I thought you'd receive a summons to the round table. Nefeli Lu. We met at Stormvale. I'm glad to see you here. I have something for you. I found it in Godric's grafting grounds. You defeated him. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. Ah, oh, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room enters guarding just over there. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior, should the fates deign it. It's about time I'll see you again. meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Uh mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Uh, Dee is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. Uh, Dee, that he discovered the mark of the centipede the centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. Pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still aflame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held regardless? Now. Nah. 
You are so very warm. Then good day to you, my dear. Those eyes tell a story of a challenger who's felled his mark. Find him well. Now lay out. She has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue.
Goodbye for now. 